so in this video i will explain in how many ways we can define a thread first way by extending thread a class maybe in the last video somewhere we covered now i will explain how to define a thread by implementing runnable interface sir we can define a thread in two ways we know first approach write a class that extends a thread class this thread class implements runnable interface are you getting right implements runnable runnable interface like this is the first approach what we covered there is another approach is there okay instead of writing a class that extends a thread which implements runnable write a class that implements runnable interface directly directly okay write a class that implements runnable interface this one is nothing but second approach right so this is the first approach and this one is a second approach we have so in how many ways we can define a thread by extending thread or by implementing runnable interface next runnable interface present in java dot lang package in which package it's available java dot lang and runnable interface contain only one method what is that method run run sir it contain only one method public void run method right that's all now i will explain how to define a thread by using this approach my runnable implements runnable how we can do that here see just i'm taking class write a class my runnable write a class my runnable implements implements runnable write a class my runnable implements runnable and uh, we have to implement which method run method because runnable contain only one method run method within that for int i is equal to 0 i is less than 10 i plus plus system dot out dot print ln child thread sop of child thread like this do you know this total process what what i did write a class that implements runnable and the implement run method with the some code this total process is by default considered as defining a thread this total process itself is defining a thread the code whatever we wrote inside run method this code by default considered yes job job of thread this code is by default considered as what job job of thread okay like this sir now i want to start this thread i want i want to start how we can just we define how to start a thread very simple class thread demo public static void main method string array arcs class thread demo public static void main string array arcs at this point of time how many threads are there only one thread what is that one main thread here how many threads are there only one how many flows only one flow main main thread wants to create my runnable object assume my runnable r is equal to new my runnable do you know this line executed by my runnable object this line executed by my thread main thread that's why main thread creates runnable object sir one runnable object is ready runnable object is something like a car a car is ready someone is required to drive this car someone someone is required to drive this car how we can do who has a start capability my runnable doesn't contain start capability either my runnable or runnable doesn't contain start 
who has a start capability thread thread has that's why create a thread object thread t is equal to new thread observe sir this line created by main thread this line executed by main thread object only sir main thread creates a thread object t dot start if i call t dot start thread class start method will be called internally thread class start method will call run method which run method will be called thread class run method only because there is no link between this my runnable and a thread how you can link whenever you start this thread you are responsible to execute my runnable run method how you can specify just the pass this r as argument whenever we are starting this thread which job it is responsible to execute my runnable run method my runnable run method that's why this one is by default considered yeah job job or target runnable here we can use a target target runnable okay sir without r with r what is the difference if i am not passing any r a new thread will be created which is responsible to execute thread class run method thread class run method has empty implementation so it won't do any job but my requirement is i have to execute this job that's why if we start this thread can you please execute my runnable run method how you can specify by passing r as the argument now t dot start can you tell after t dot start how many threads are there two threads main thread and child thread sir two threads are there one is main the other one is child main thread is responsible to execute remaining child thread is responsible to execute this code that's why here for for int i is equal to 0 i is less than 10 i plus plus int i is equal to 0 i is less than 10 i plus plus system dot out dot print ln main thread main thread like i'm taking main thread like end of this one sir after t dot start how many threads are there two threads sir. main thread is responsible to execute this code child thread is responsible to execute my runnable run method so that both the threads will be executed simultaneously and we will get mixed output right that's all sir what is the second way to define a thread by implementing runnable write a class that implements runnable implement run method with our required job create runnable object create a thread object with that runnable at the argument under t dot start that's all is nothing but like you people should aware how to define a thread by implements runnable interface right okay that's all if i execute this program just observe sir i want to execute this code thread demo 1 thread demo 1 dot java like have you observed here see class my runnable implements runnable public void run method for int i is equal to 0 child thread like sir my runnable r is equal to new my runnable create a thread object t dot start and then main thread like now observe this one sir thread demo one minute on thread demo one dot java thread demo one dot java thread demo one have you observed main thread followed by child thread same child thread and main thread both now let me run once again let me run once again so there is no guarantee every time the same output by default we are going to get maybe a chance uh, to have some changed output also so nothing but of course in this very small output we may not see much much difference in the output but strictly speaking maybe a chance to have some changed output also okay that's all